tech companies don't want you to know what they know. And obviously, you won't hear this on CNBC or Fox. To many people, AI is simply science's way of making our lives a lot easier. As much as it is not out of place for anything that has a pro to have a con, AI can do no wrong in their eyes. Well, if you, just like a lot of people, believe absolutely in the potential of AI, you might not be entirely right. Pause for a moment and listen to Elon Musk and his warnings about AI. No doubt AI is great and has made human existence on Earth a lot easier. It is not perfect. It is associated with some risks. It might be very difficult for the average person to spot some of the risks associated with AI. Nonetheless, these risks can be very overwhelming. And this is something that some of the biggest names in science and tech are aware of, and some of them have not hidden their thoughts. Before we go any further, hit the like button right now so that more people hear this side of the story. Also, it is a right thing to do if you will share this video with your friends and family. You know this video might get deleted. When you talk about the dangers of new technology and AI to the public, the tech corporations are going to have filters that prevent negative ideas about their future income stream. In Stephen Hawking's words, the development of artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Well, we do not want the human race to end, at least not anytime soon. It could seem like his statement was a little exaggerated. However, when scrutinized, there is no exaggeration to what he said. AI, although not a weapon of war, is capable of doing what only a nuclear bomb can do. AI does come with some risks, and in this video are facts that make AI dangerous. We might be wrong to say that everyone is comfortable with the existence of AI. Let me tell you the backstory why this idea of AI helping people and being used for a pure and good reason is not so realistic. Some will argue that virtually everyone has benefited from it. As much as one would be living in self-denial to say AI is not good for human existence, not many people have paused to think about the intent of whoever developed AI and the major aim of coming up with such technology. Not everyone in the tech community perfectly understands how AI functions, so you can imagine how ordinary people would understand it. Nonetheless, there have been several debates about the downside of this technology that seems just perfect for making our lives easier. AI has done a lot of harm already, and it does not seem like it will be slowing down soon. Finding the truth on AI's overall benefit or harm is as important as how many calories you eat per day. As much as AI is good for business and goes a long way in reducing the cost of production, it has a negative effect on the economy of the world, as it has put lots of people out of work. The most recent article by the World Economic Forum expects 85 million jobs to be replaced by AI. Most of them will be people out of jobs in the healthcare, manufacturing, and marketing industries before 2025. AI might not be targeted at any race, Nonetheless, low-paying, non-physical jobs seem more affected. This is perhaps because they are more involved in jobs that can be handled better by machines. As it stands, AI robots have pushed humans out of work, and it does not seem like things will slow down anytime soon. These robots will only become smarter and increasingly capable of doing the things that humans can do. In all fairness to AI, it will not only be replacing humans in their jobs, it will also create lots of jobs. So by the same time period, it is expected to have created 97 million jobs. This is supposed to be good news. However, there are quite some gray areas around it. Lots of people might lack the skills that will be needed to fit into these new job roles. So it is only normal that they will end up being out of a job sad truth about AI is that it is so new and almost unknown to most people outside the tech industry. Unfortunately, the school system has never taught you this, and it's probably too late to do it now. The new jobs that have already been created by AI and those that will be created will need a great deal of training and, to an extent, some talent. It might appear like the only jobs that AI will be replacing are those that do not need any special skills or college degrees. Well, the fact is, even if you are college educated and need a degree to work, AI can still get you out of a job. There are various sectors where AI will be getting college trained people out of a job. The legal sector is one of these sectors. One renowned technology strategist said 
that there will be a major shakeup in the legal sector. Think about the complexity of contracts and really diving in and understanding what it takes to create a perfect deal structure. It's a lot of attorneys reading through a lot of information, hundreds or thousands of pages of data and documents. It's really easy to miss things. So AI that has the ability to comb through and comprehensively deliver the best possible contract for the outcome you're trying to achieve is probably going to replace a lot of corporate attorneys. While some expect the legal sector to be badly affected by the job loss that AI has created, the health sector has already been affected. And if you think you are safe because you own a job that needs extra post-college training, you are wrong, even with extra college training. You are not immune to the job loss caused by AI. The question is, what is next for us in AI? Pay close attention to my next words, because this might be the most important thing you need to learn from this video. The danger of AI is not yet known to us because the potential of it is completely unlimited. The effect of AI on the average person's job might be its most obvious negative effect. Well, you do not need to have your job on the line to experience the risks of AI. This is because AI already has a major effect on security and privacy. There are several ways in which it has been used in invading people's privacy. One of them is the use of facial recognition technology in Chinese schools and offices. With this technology, the Chinese government comfortably monitors people's movements, political views, and activities. China might be strongly associated with using technology in ways that the average person is uncomfortable with. Well, as it stands, the Chinese government is just one of the organizations that use AI in ways that the average person considers offensive. Other organizations that use artificial intelligence in ways that might not be very socially acceptable are police departments and government agencies. When a country is too big, monitoring everyone might not be the easiest of things to do. So they depend on AI to make policing a lot easier. As much as this seems like a good strategy, the main question is, can AI be fully unbiased when it comes to making decisions about people's lives? We know that most systems built by humans today are corrupt, but can we confidently say that AI is free from bias? The average person that uses artificial intelligence a lot might not assume that it could be linked to any bias. This is quite understandable as AI is not human. However, considering the fact that it was built by humans, artificial intelligence is not free from bias, as the people who built it are potentially themselves biased. According to one professor, the AI researchers are primarily people who are white male, who come from certain racial demographics, who grew up in high socioeconomic areas, primarily people without disabilities, etc., etc. We're a fairly homogenous population, so it's a challenge to think broadly about world issues. While it might seem like the bias linked to AI is only around race and gender, it is a lot more. It involves accents and dialects, it is easy to spot this as several speech recognition programs were not designed to recognize some dialects and accents. But there is more. Artificial intelligence is not perfect. This is regardless of the fact that a lot of people consider it to be a perfect form of technology. It is always evolving and learning. The main question is, where is it learning from? And how credible is the source? As some people believe, AI can promote false data and tendentious options. They believe those in charge of AI should ensure that it develops with some restraint. And if mankind's so-called technological progress were to become an enemy of the common good, this would lead to an unfortunate regression, to a form of barbarism dictated by the law of the strongest. It might not be so easy to know where AI is going and how its destination will affect things negatively. However, if you know a thing or two about ChatGPT, a popular AI chatbot, you might begin to have an idea of how it is creating a pattern of interesting changes in people's perception of different topics. As you can see, I make videos around the topic of artificial intelligence, Elon Musk, Tesla news, and much more. If you really enjoy videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell right now. See you in the next video.